Hello chess friends and welcome to Yazad of Chess channel and welcome back to our little computer chess world. Let's dive back into the beautiful computer chess rating list website, the popular CCRL where every day thousands and thousands of games are played in top engine level and you can download of course the top engine uh, games like Stockfish games, uh, Dragon engine games, also some other uh, really strong uh, engine games but you can also download uh, the PGNs only in particular openings and also particular sidelines of openings so if you're maybe interested i don't know into the murphy defense of the Rui lopez you can download the pgns of this opening and have a i think a great preparation for white for black because as i said you can download really millions and millions of beautiful pgns millions and millions of beautiful and epic sharp tactical games in top engine level so i've been asked now many times to do the italian opening more especially with the black pieces because many of us want to play uh the italian opening so that's why i decided to show you really a beautiful beautiful and amazing positional game here played by the new Stockfish version by the new Stockfish 16 with the black pieces against the Velvet engine the Velvet engine is of course not it's not this elite top engine uh, but of course it's a strong opponent of course with 3300 rating points around plus or minus but uh, this is it of course the Stockfish engine is much much stronger so that's why we're diving now into the Italian opening pay good attention if you are even a beginner I think there are strategic concepts that are very very understandable also to us humans because uh, Stockfish will play here really a human-like game which I think you really really like because many many position nuances will happen here so I think beautiful beautiful instructive game here by by the Stockfish 16 engine so let's see now the game with the white pieces uh, the velvet engine open with the move e4 so the fish response was uh, e5 knight to f3 knight to c6 bishop to c4 the Italian game knight to f6 two knight defense d3 we have now this normal ideas bishop to c5 we have now the gioco pianissimo the symmetrical way and now of course this idea c3 in the later stage to break and enter here uh, with the move d4 in the center of the board uh, here stockfish plays a6 so you, a5 is also perfectly fine it's just a different sideline uh, here in the continuation we are of course liberating now uh, the long diagonal for the dark bishop if we ever get challenged by the move d4 then we have escape room and then still we're targeting of course uh, the weak f2 square so calcing d6 we have b4 uh, bishop to a7 retreating and now here the velvet engine makes further progress with his aggressive move a4 knight to e7 this is really very very important maneuver in um, in the italian opening of course maybe not immediately you can even castle then later to play this idea but the main idea here is to control the f4 square and also in the later stage if ever d4 happens to control further the e5 square but now also the knight on e7 is not vulnerable to some attacks here on the queen side by the pawn move b5 so in the game bishop to b3 castling uh, bishop to e3 a standard idea uh, by uh, white also in many occasions black is also playing bishop to e6 because as we said we're trying knight to g6 and then maybe knight to f4 to get the hop now after bishop to f3 f takes e3 this positional maneuver uh this replacement of the knight is not possible so the knight on e7 is a little bit stuck but we have to understand now uh, also a little bit here this kind of a middle game this middle game is very specific because we have the same colored bishops middle game when you have the same colored bishops middle game you want to keep your pawns on the opposite colored squares which means now uh, in this particular case when we have the light square bishop we want to have many many pawns on dark squares so that's why i think we'll understand the next couple moves now very easily by stockfish first of all c6 so keeping now uh here the structure um uh, compact and also if possible maybe later break and enter with move d5 now comes knight to knight from b to d2 and now comes this idea keep your pawns on dark squares a5 this is the way they go look at this e5 d6 very good a5 good on the other hand white has here many pawns on light squares which are of course not good in a fully potential end game um the if you could just imagine maybe this kind of a position only with the bishops on the board then the light square bishop of whites would be always stuck to the potential defense of all of these pawns here on the board so d4 here uh immediately breaking the position by uh, velvet knight to g6 as promised uh, keeping a grip around the square e5 now comes c uh not b5 pardon me bishop to d7 now comes c4 and now maybe you can pause the video and try to see now a very important positional idea i'm uh, telling you now this is really one of the critical moments and uh, this is not sort of a chess puzzle in which 
black is winning the game immediately. But I think it's a move. Here comes a move that you have to recognize uh, in order to make something out of this position. So as I said, please pause the video and solve this positional puzzle sort of, sort of here for black. Try to see now here the best continuation. Maybe it's not so easy to see, but it's must, must move. If you don't play this move, you have huge positional problems. And when you have positional problems, probably afterwards you get also tactical problems. So very, very important moment now in the game. So as I said, take your time, take as much as you want, but now it's really, really an important game, a moment of the game for sure. So. Okay. Here, it seems like an anti-positional idea that Stockfish is playing e takes d4, basically improving the structure of whites now, uh, here allowing this pawn storm to come. But as I said, we have the specific same color bishops and middle game, uh, sorry, uh, we have here really this problems of the light school bishop and now comes this idea by Stockfish c5, locking simply now the bishop out of game. Really, really wild stuff. If you play something like e5 here, this wouldn't be good because after d takes e5, you can take knight to g4. Now this knight is, uh, the, this pawn is twice attacked. We can support it further. Rook to e8, queen to c7. So I think you lose this pawn for sure in the later stage of the game. Even if you play after here, uh, d takes e5, you can play d takes c5, but now of course e4 is going to happen. Even if you play something like knight to, uh, uh, g5 then bishop to g4 is going to happen e3 rook to e8 queen to c7 h6 is uh, also an opportunity in my opinion really really a messed up game here for white so c very very important move c5 now uh, we have queen to e1 uh, bishop to g4 uh, we have now the move d5 and now again my question for you here is what would you do now in this particular position again very important moment pause the video try to see now the best continuation here for black again i'm pointing out it's not one of those puzzles in which black is winning the game immediately it's just a strategic advantage that i think you can get now uh, in, in the continuation of the game so pause the video as i said and try to see now the best continuation here for black okay here we have the opportunity to create a beautiful bad bishop strategy, which means now that we are supposed to trade as many as pieces possible in order to leave our opponent just with the light square bishop on the board, which means also that it's perfectly fine to give up now the bishop for the knight here. And that's exactly what Stockfish played here. Bishop to f3, after rook to f3, we have now the move queen to uh, e7, and we are creating now the blockade against the structural weakness here in white's position. It's of course the backward pawn. And we have now the opportunity to fix our structure around the square e5. Also, we can play knight to d7 and then knight to e5, but you see the whole game is coordinated now around the square e5 later we can play even b6 rook to e8 but now the backward pawn becomes a huge huge uh positional but also of course tactical problem in white's position this bishop is just becoming a part of the pawn chain it's almost like a big pawn and uh, look at this from this point on i think uh the game is a one-way ticket in black's favor so rook to f5 uh, here by uh, velvet rook to e8 bishop to c2 here uh, velvet is desperately trying somehow to get the pieces back Back into the game queen to uh, d8 of course getting the rook now uh, very active and again uh, with this blockade idea knight to e5 to maybe fix the structure also rook to e5 is perfectly fine but i hope you realize that we have really grip around this beautiful square so we have queen to e2 rook to e5 a rook to f2 uh, here stockfish continues the pressure on the e file gets the rook more active after bishop to e d1 uh, again velvet is somehow trying to get the bishop into the game but now a calm move b6 fixing the structure because in some lines maybe b6 could have happened by white and then maybe um, somehow the queen comes into the game then you have maybe the a5 problem so really calm move because nothing can happen to you b6 perfectly fine g3 uh, knight to e5 uh, rook comes here and now queen to uh, d7 simply improving the position of the queen also with ideas maybe to get the queen here on h3 knight to f3 as we said, we don't mind to trade off even more pieces because we're keeping our opponent just with the bad bishop on the board. So now after queen to f3, queen to e7, still continue the pressure around the square e4, king to g2, rook to f8, because the only warnable square that I saw 
um, in black's position is of course this f7 score because if you play of course something like knight to e4 then rook takes f7 comes because the battery we have to admit it here also by white is very 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 strong so rook to f8 first fixing our problems in the position here after move to h4 rook to e5 bishop to c2 and now knight to d7 with the opportunity maybe to get the knight here on e5 which would, in, would be really centralized and the knight would be of course on the dark square which cannot be attacked by any minor pieces anymore so queen to d1 knight to f6 and now h5 this move i really like because stockfish is saying okay i don't have so much time to do this maneuver i'll try maybe to reroute my knight here to uh, maybe h6 and then start even to push the spawns here g6 f6 if possible maybe also the move f5 so queen to d3 knight to uh, g4 bishop to d1 uh, here knight to h6 very important move also because i think white will love now to give up the, the uh, light square bishop for the powerful knight the knight is much much better here because of this static light square pawn chain as we said the light square bishop will be always stuck to the defense of the spawns in the in the potential fully end game stage so bishop to c2 g6 uh, now the king comes closer with the opportunity maybe to play the move f6 uh, rook to uh, g8 bishop to d1 king to f8 cool ideas here by stockfish getting the rook king simply out of this f file and then maybe if you play something like f6 g5 breaking and enter here simply uh, on the king side because nothing on the queen side can happen the, uh, the uh, structure on the queen side is really static so it's really blocked off pawn structure uh, black is holding the position very very easily on the queen side so we have queen to d2 uh, rook to g7 king to h2 king uh, drops back to e8 we have now a desperate try here by white white is just repeating moves white doesn't want to touch anything because if you touch anything then your king is probably getting vulnerable here uh, on the king side so king to d7 rook to f1 knight to g8 king to, uh, again gets here on uh, f on c7 really good score for the king we have rook to e3 and now f6 slowly but surely building up the attack so you see stoffish is not rushing the main goal is now to push the pawn on g5 and then uh, somehow include more uh, pieces into the attack so king to g2 queen to f7 bishop to c2 queen to e8 and now after move rook to h1 now comes the important move g5 this is the way to go the position is exploding now but only in front of white king black secured the king with this beautiful uh, walk here uh, black secured the king on this side of the board where we said that nothing could happen so after move g5 h takes g f takes g the queen drops back and now knight to uh, h6 a very important move now the knight will come again on a beautiful square here on g4 so rook to f3 knight to g4 no checks are possible the c uh, this f7 score is well protected by uh the queen and the rook rook king to g1 of course in some lines there are threats of knight to e3 the fork so that's why uh here uh the velvet engine step back with the king no uh, fork ideas are possible now for black but of course rook to g8 simply keeping the pressure rook to e7 we have rook to f5 and now after rook to g7 king to g2 now comes this idea simply forcing a further trades of pieces which is perfectly fine here i think for black as i said even a fully end game fits here for uh for for black because if you could just imagine this position without even the queens without even the rooks on the board the knight as we said when the knight comes on e5 it would be much 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 more powerful uh than the bishop here and we would then have a two versus one pawn majority in a potential end game as i said because this pawn majority of whites doesn't it's not doing anything because you can never really push the pawn here on e5 so we have rook to h5 uh, here by um by velvet even if you play something like rook to f7 here it wouldn't be good look at this rook to f7 the threat is rook to f2 you have to compete on the f file rook takes f1 you cannot again take with the queen you get the fork so that's why you have to take out now with the king the queen gets centralized you have to step back again with your king but now the queen gets closer the closer to um uh, here to the white king so you can maybe try queen to f3 but now a check will happen so in my opinion a messed up game here again uh, for white you can maybe step back but now uh, this one we get a check you can even get checkmated so i just wanted to show you one particular line for instance in which black is winning the game for sure so you see it's not working so that's why after move rook to f7 uh, rook takes h5 uh, was played by velvet but now after rook to f5 uh, we have this one queen to 
uh, queen to g, uh, g4 you cannot take of course here the rook because of the actions uh, on the e file so that's why uh, here a queen to g4 but of course now in this scenario uh, black is up the whole exchange plays now rook to f6 here uh, the velvet engine takes out now the pawn but now after queen to f8 now there are again new problems in uh, in um, a white position rook to f2 so that's why velvet competes now on the f file we have rook takes f5 e takes f5 queen to h6 the threat is of course here the annoying check on uh, d2 so that's why uh, uh, f6 and the, the, the main idea to somehow deflect the queen and now stockfish grabs the pawn the game is in my opinion simply over here for white so queen to f3 we have queen to b2 uh, queen to f2 now a couple of couple more maneuvers here stockfish took also the pawn on c4 and after queen to f6 queen to e2 in this position the velvet engine resigned so obviously the bishop has to drop back somehow but slowly but surely we will eventually push this pawn the king is of course also very endangered here so it's also hard for white to push the pawn somehow you get always annoying checks by the queen by the rook so it's a devastating here game for white so incredible italian game by stockfish 16 in the beautiful gioco pianissimo i think really this was an instructive game some of this method some of this idea some of the strategies uh, that you saw in the middle game stage i think you can apply in your own games really nice nice strategic game here by the fish going into this amazing bad bishop strategy so okay i hope that you enjoyed this game if you want to see more positional brilliances and also sharp tactical games uh, check out our uh, common chess games played by computer series here's the link of our playlist and if you like this content don't forget to subscribe to my channel what do we say chess is the best of course